Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Art Fleet. So today I want to show you how to find out if any of your pins have been stolen on Pinterest. And I just popped in here to give you a quick overview because I found one of mine that was stolen. So first off, how to pick the ones you're going to check. Um, they're only going to steal your popular pins. They want to know which ones come up first on when you do a search. So like for, I know one of my pins is super popular. If you do a search for real estate marketing, oops, okay, this pin always comes up, okay? So when I come over here and I see this is a different version of it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this pin and then I'm going to come down here to this little place right here. And that's going to let you search this pin visually. So right now there's a slider bar and it's going to let you slide around. So if I slide around, this is going to bring up um, kind of the text area of it, right? And then if we come down here and we just did that, it's going to bring up the um, my pin again, right? But it's also going to bring up houses. And then if I slide it down here, it's going to bring up this pin. Now, as I'm going over these, see how you can tell what website it is? Okay, so this is Fitbottom Girls. This is not marketing artfully. This is real estate career tips info. And if you click on this pin and then you click on here, this isn't going to my site. And these people steal a lot of my pins. So we're going to do two things here. We're going to, um, we're going to report this one. So you're going to come here. You're going to say report pin. You're going to say it's my intellectual property. Now, if it had, because I do have a trademark on Marketing Art Flea that's in the works, so I could absolutely report them for that. But this is infringing on my copyright, right? So I have made a copyrighted picture and you have copyright as soon as you've published it the first time, as long as it's your work. And you're gonna put in all your information. <laughs> Maybe I'll cover that up. Uh, it's on my email, so I'm not that worried about it. Um, so identify your work. So we're gonna say an image. Please show us where we can see the work on your own website. So, Marketing Artfully, and this goes to real estate, and it is right here, right? Copy, paste, okay. Identify the material you want removed. That's what I want. Okay, so now this is a big question and I'm not going to do that um one of the problems with this <laughs> remove all is it might remove yours because Pinterest is not smart like it's just an algorithm it's a computer so it may not know not to remove all of your pictures too so but I do want to give them a strike they steal my stuff all the time and a strike just means that you're going to um, try to get their account shut down because they're constantly um, doing this. And by checking the following boxes, I, uh, I confirm the information is accurate. I have a good faith belief is unauthorized. I state under a penalty of law that this is my work. And then you would type your, your name, right? Tara Jacobson. Got it. And then you hit submit. And I'm not going to do that right now because I want to do a couple screen captures. But I just submit these and do that. Now, the one thing that's really good that you could do is if you click here and you go to this fraudulent website, Real Estate Tricks Info, okay, what I can do is I can do a search for their website realestatetricks.info and I want to take out the www and the http because I want to just see that part and then I can do a search for all of their pictures oh is it not coming up 
maybe because it's a forward, um, I can't do it. Oh, nope. So what they're doing is they're what's called masking. Um, this isn't the actual real website of this site. It's a fraudulent site. So um, I can't do them. But sometimes if you do your own, like if it's a real website that's stealing your stuff, you can just do pinterest.com forward slash source forward slash marketing And they will, um, they're going to pull up all the pins from that site. And these are all my pins. If that site wasn't masked, it's, they're just bad actors and it sucks. And should you be spending a lot of time doing this? No, but if you do notice that, like what'll happen is I'll notice I'll be going through and I'll do that search, that real estate marketing search, real estate marketing. And these are only for your really big searches, right? So this, and if you hover over them, see down here where you can see it says marketing artfully, that's mine. Okay, that's mine, goes to marketing artfully, that's mine, goes to marketing artfully, and you can just do that search real quick and test it, that goes to marketing artfully, um, but when you're trying to really do well in a niche, it's worthwhile to just occasionally take a peek and make sure that nobody's hijacking your pins. A lot of times what will happen is your stuff will still be on top. Um, but they just try to use it to get a little bit more, see, we can do this and see if we can find, so that's just a bunch of pretty girls. Oops. This is words and it, this is just going to be the style, honestly, of the black bar with the words. So this one would be, as you can see, some of them are harder and easier to find. This one could possibly be really hard to figure out, but hopefully that helps Tara Jacobson marketing artfully.